Okay, we're making biscuits and gravy today. First off, I like to use these Pillsbury Grams from the frozen section. Tastes pretty good, uh, close to home ba homemade, I guess. Next, we're going to get this oven started. We're going to set it at 375. Alright, now we're going to take the biscuits. We're going to put them on this cookie sheet or a baking sheet. Uh, this one is uh, some type of stone. Uh, we're going to put them on here side by side, making sure that the edges are touching. Now we're just going to set them to the side until the oven's ready. Alright, so we've got our pot that we're going to use. Now I took the packaging off the sausage already uh, so I can get my hands cleaned up and I don't have to worry about that anymore. Sausages that I'm using is a Jimmy Dean, um, either original or spicy, depending on what I want that day. We're going to use black pepper and garlic salt. Get them ready. We're going to need some cooking oil, and we just need a little bit. This sausage that I use doesn't have a lot of fat in it. So we need a little bit of oil uh, to get the gravy going. This tool right here, it's a meat chopper. It's good for cooking ground meat of any kind. It gets it chopped up real nice while you're browning it. All right, so now the pan and the oil is hot, we can put the meat in there and start getting that uh, fried up. You're going to just continue to chop it and mix it up until uh, it's all brown. Now we're going to add our pepper. and our garlic salt. Now don't worry about putting too much garlic salt. You're probably going to end up putting more later on uh, because the milk dilutes it. Alright, so the oven's preheated. We're going to slide these biscuits in there. We're going to keep an eye on them. And when uh, it should be 15 to 17 minutes, they'll be a nice golden brown and uh, it should be done. Now I like to take another knife, butter knife, steak knife, whichever, it doesn't matter and get the raw meat off of the tool like this. It likes to get stuck in the valleys there, so I just get it all cleaned out and then I continue frying it. Alright, now I've got my flour out. I don't typically measure this out. I just, you know, I just put a scoop in there. And it usually does fine. Get it, another tool, put that one away, and get the spoon out. And we're going to mix it up, get all the meat covered with the flour. 
And we're going to fry it uh, for just a few minutes without the liquids in there. Now we're going to start putting the milk in. At first we're just going to put a little bit and get everything off the bottom of the pan. Alright, now we're going to put the rest of the milk in. Again, I don't measure it. I just take in consideration how many people is going to be at my table. And I just make sure that uh, there's enough gravy to go around. Then you're going to continue to stir it and get it to a simmer. Now, in as you do this you're going to have to taste it. You may need to add some more garlic salt. You do that little by little. Once you get it to your liking then all you have to do is wait for it to thicken. Alright so I moved it over to this other burner and put it on a low heat so I can simmer it slowly. It's only going to take about five minutes maybe less it's going to thicken as it goes. Now if it gets too thick you can always add some more milk and it will loosen it up. Right here is about the consistency that you want it. Again you can make it thicker if you want. If you want it looser you can just add some more milk. Alright so most ovens should have a chimney that's underneath one of these burners and what I like to do is stick my plates especially in the winter time stick my plates on that burner with the oven going and it'll heat them up so it doesn't make your food cold getting it to the table alright now we're gonna start the eggs I got my pan hot and we're going to drop a couple eggs in there and we're going to let them get about 90 percent done and then we're going to give it a real easy flip now I don't put anything on my eggs, salt and pepper or anything like that um, maybe at the table but not when I'm cooking it alright so if you do it easy you're not going to break them all right, my biscuits are golden brown, so they should be done. I'm going to take those out. We're going to put them to the side. All right, so we have our eggs on the plate. We took a biscuit, split it in half. We're going to serve our gravy on top of the biscuits. And there you have it. Biscuits, biscuits and gravy with eggs. Mm -hmm.